And welcome back. The record is a game below 500, but the potential of this program is very promising. Eli Drinkwitz is recruiting like no other Mizzou football coach ever has done. Tonight, we sit down the coach in his first in-studio interview in St. Louis, and we talk about everything from the quarterback situation, which is up in the air, to Luther Burden the third, whose upside is up in the sky. And it's a pleasure to get together with Coach Drink. All right, so even though you're not from this state, you yeah. have a keen sense of how the state feels about Kansas. And some of your best material <laughs> is directed at the uh, Kansas Athletic Program. Well, I, I just think uh, having rivalries in college football is good for the game. I think that's what makes it exciting. It gets your, pa your fan base passionate. And, uh, you know, when you're going on these tours around the state, you got to keep people engaged. And so, you know, you got to take a few shots and see which, see which ones land. So M Mizzou has recruited four five stars in their history, okay. and you, in your second year, mm -hmm. gets one of them. Yep. I'm wondering, when Luther Burden III actually said yes, take me through where you were, your reaction. It was a really cool moment for us, but it's just the beginning. I think that's the biggest thing for me and our staff is uh, in order for us to get to where we want to be, which is consistently competing for the SEC East Championship, we're going to have to continue to recruit at a high level. And so it's not about just getting one player. It's not about getting one Luther Burden. It's about making sure that we're in St. Louis getting the next uh, great players out of here, whether it's the offensive linemen, uh, the skill players, the defensive linemen. Um, St. Louis has the unique ability to reduce, uh, produce all of those players, uh, and we need them to come play for us. You know, it, uh, I, I think when you look at the national stage, the national championships, whether it's been football or basketball, St. Louis was represented uh, for other teams. Boy, I would sure love for them to be represented with uh, the University of Missouri. And, you know, I've been saying this quite a bit. Um, we can be Tiger fans, or, or we can be Cardinals fans, we can be Blues fans, we can be Chiefs fans, Royal fans, but at the end of the day, we all need to be Tiger fans, and we need to support the University of Missouri because we're all living in this state, and it, it's a representation of all of us uh, when we play on Saturdays and or Thursdays uh, this year. And so uh, for us to be the program we want to be, we need to recruit this state better than anywhere else. One more Luther question. Okay. I know you can't give away the game plan, but returning kicks, running the ball, Give us an idea of how we're going to see him. Well, we're going to play to his strengths, uh, which is getting the ball in his hands. Uh, he's a dynamic playmaker, and I think the thing that's impressed me the most about Luther since he's been with us is his competitive spirit and makeup, um, which is he wants to improve every single day. And uh, we've got to do a, a better job than we've done in the past about making sure our playmakers touch the ball consistently. But I'm really excited because it's not just Luther. You combine him with Dominic Lovett. You combine him with Mookie Cooper. Uh, and now you've got three guys who can really keep a defense on. It was public. You went after two high-profile quarterbacks in the portal. How do you balance that with going after those guys and then going into your quarterback room and saying, hey, you guys are my guys now? Well, I, you know, obviously we – Here's the deal. We're all trying to be the very best that we can be. The number one core value of our program is to always compete, to be better today than we were yesterday and be better tomorrow than we were today. And the only thing better than a little competition is a lot of competition. I think the biggest reason we didn't get any quarterbacks is because we wouldn't guarantee anybody that was going to be the starting quarterback. We, we said, we're going to allow you to come compete for the job. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think there was anything – uh, in our quarterback room that shied away from that because they knew it was an open competition. And whether you add more people to that competition or not, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in your own abilities, it doesn't matter who you compete against. Give me your football fantasy with <laughs> details. September 1st, the opener against La Tech. What do you want to see? What do you want to watch? Well, I think the first thing I'd like to see is an electric crowd and stadium. Our, our players have really invested and they're continuing to invest and they've been putting in the work and and hopefully we can do a good, a good enough job recruiting that, that we can get that furrow field sold out. And uh, I think it would be a great statement to our team and a great statement to the country that we're excited about Mizzou football and we're not going to take a back seat to anybody moving in, uh, you know, obviously in the SEC, but with a couple of people wanting to join. We want to set the bar and the standard and expectation. I'd like to see uh, – shoot, it wouldn't bother me if we return the opening kickoff for a touchdown. I mean, they do call him touchdown Luther, but I'm not sure he'll be the guy back there. I'd like to see our defense continue to improve, play very physical up front, stop the run, uh, play really good in situational football, and then offensively just play with some rhythm, uh, be attacking, and then execute at a high level. You're not asking for much. 
No, I'm asking for the perfect football game, which is uh, what we work for, what, how hard we work every day. Awesome. Coach, great stuff. Honored to have you in. M-I-Z. Z-O-U. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back after this.